Hey YouTube, uh, I just got done fixing my truck. Um, I actually just bought this about a month or so ago. And the problem with it has been uh, it only runs at like 160 degrees all the time. Doesn't matter how warm it is outside, doesn't matter um, about anything. It runs at 150 degrees. Problem with that is it doesn't burn the fuel efficiently and it's going to cause harm to the engine and spark plugs and stuff over time. So what I thought was wrong with it was the, uh, I thought the thermostat was stuck open, which it wasn't the problem. Uh, I've already fixed this and I thought, well, this may happen to other people, so I'm going to do a quick video on kind of what I learned. Um, if you're going to change the thermostat in this, um, it's a 1992 uh, C1500, K1500. Um, doesn't matter if it's a 305 or 350, it's, it's the same thing. Right here is your thermostat housing. And you got two 9 16th bolts holding it in. Uh, the one on the right side is has a grounding stud on top. What you do is just take these two bolts out. Um, not first, but you're going to want to drain some coolant first. And uh, after you do that, take these two uh, bolts out. You got a bolt on the left and it's actually a stud on the right. And then you don't have to undo this clamp and you don't have to take your air cleaner off. Um, if you have, I think you need an 8 inch extension and it just clears so you don't have to take the air cleaner off. Uh, if you only have short sockets you will have to. Anyway, <clears throat> take the bolts off, lift the housing out and the problem is that these came with a, they're a paper gasket and the paper deteriorates over time so then the coolant sneaks in behind the thermostat and so it's always flowing. Uh, so there's a couple of little things, um, some old school uh, tricks that you can do to fix that. Um, once you take this all off the, the gasket is going to be a big mess and I think over here in the grass somewhere there's some pieces of this gasket. Um, it's just, it's totally deteriorated. So, you're going to want to sc scrape, sorry about that vehicle, um, the intake manifold side and the housing side. Scrape it with a flathead screwdriver um, and get the best you can and then take either a flat file or some sandpaper and sand it down smooth. And then, uh, the trick for these things to not leak if you don't do this, um, next thing I'm going to tell you, this thing will start seeping um, fluid out of there in about three months. Uh, I've seen it happen before. What you need is this gasket sealant by Permatex. And on your blue gasket that you get, you're going to run a small bead all the way around that blue gasket on both sides. Don't just do one side, do both. So you got this all taken apart and there's going to be a little recess down in there in the intake manifold where your thermostat's going to sit. Okay, seat that down in there first. Then the blue gasket with the Permatex on both sides goes on top of uh, your thermostat. And then you can um, put your housing back on there and then get both your bolts started, thread them down, and you tighten them down to 21 foot-pounds. Um, and then you can see, you see a little bit of the gray Permatex that kind of squeezed out. It's kind of squeezed out all the way around. Um, and I'm going to let this sit before I even start it. I'm probably going to let it, you don't have to, but I like to play it safe. I'm going to let it sit for about an hour before I fire it up. And that shouldn't leak for a very, very long time. Um, if you don't use the Permatex, you're going to be okay, but it is going to seep some coolant. It's not going to be a puddle, but it is going to leak. Um, I've put these gaskets in without Permatex before and changed them with less than a year and half of the gaskets already deteriorated away. Um, so, anyways, like I said, this video is just kind of a little bit of tip on um, these paper gaskets. And the gasket number for this is right there. And it's a Felpro gasket, so it's a good gasket made in the United States. So there you have it on my kind of two cents. Um, I haven't cleaned up the coolant yet from when I uh, changed this out so it's 
not leaking or anything. It was leaking before, I just haven't cleaned it up yet. And um, if you've noticed, I have my fan shroud off. Um, while I'm here, I took the fan off of the water pump and just put studs in, and I'm going to mount an electric fan uh, on the radiator. And what's that going to do? Well, it gives you about 20 more horsepower. And the electric fan um, is only going to kick on when it needs to instead of spinning all the time. And you don't have to worry about a fan clutch either. So just in case you guys noticed that uh, that was missing. So anyway, hope this helped you guys out. And uh, thanks for watching.